In this animation, we will examine the steps involved in creating and reducing a Boolean expression. In this example, we will be using the Boolean and De Morgan theorems to create and reduce the Boolean expression that represents the NOR gate array shown here. We will begin by reviewing the 15 rules for Boolean reduction. In addition to these Boolean theorems, we will also be using De Morgan's theorems in our reduction. These 15 Boolean theorems, along with the two De Morgan's theorems, are widely used for reducing Boolean expressions. At this point, you may want to pause the animation and become familiar with these equations before proceeding. To create the reduced Boolean expression for the array shown here, we begin at the inputs located on the left-hand side and provide the output logic for each gate as we move through the array towards the output. We will express each gate output in its reduced format as we move through the array using Boolean and De Morgan theorems for simplification. We will start our analysis by determining the output from the first stage in the array. The first stage gates are configured as simple inverters and will provide the complement of the value appearing at the inputs. We now do the same for the next three gates that make up the second stage of the array. The first gate in stage 2 performs the NOR logic function on the NOT A and NOT B inputs. At this point, we will now use De Morgan's second theorem to simplify and reduce this expression. When we apply this theorem to our output expression, we arrive at a new equivalent expression as shown here. We can further simplify this expression by clearing the double inversion. As a result, the original expression is reduced to a simple AND function. The remaining two gates in the second stage are once again configured as simple inverters, and as such provide the complement of the value appearing at the input. Clearing the double inversion provides the simplified outputs for these two gates. We now move on to the single gate appearing in the third stage of our array. The standard NOR function is applied to inputs A and B. We will once again be using De Morgan's second theorem to restate this output expression in an AND format. The application of this theorem provides us with the resulting expression NOT A and NOT B. The fourth stage of the array provides the final output. This output has been labeled Z in our diagram. The last NOR gate in the array has inputs A and B being NORed with NOT A and NOT B. This complex output expression can be simplified further. We will start the simplification by using De Morgan's second theorem once again to clear the large inversion line. We then use De Morgan's first theorem to clear the remaining shared inversion lines. We now move on to clear the double inversion lines present in the new expression. Boolean expression 13, as illustrated in the provided table, allows us to multiply or expand the expression with the intention of collecting and eliminating terms. Boolean theorem 6 in the table shows that two of the terms, not A and A, as well as not B and B, can be replaced by a zero. According to theorem 8, we can drop the two or zero terms from the expression completely. As a result, we arrive at our completed reduced Boolean expression for output Z. Output Z is equal to not A and B, or not B and A. As a side note, this final output expression is the equivalent of a single exclusive OR gate. To 
to review, here is the solution expression and the reduced outputs for the various stages of the array. As shown by this example, complex gate arrays can be greatly simplified through the use of Boolean and De Morgan theorems.